Hi there. Now for this part of the question then, you can see that the answer is that x has got to be greater than 0 but less than 5 over 2. So if it caused any problems, just show you what I did anyway. So we were given that the area of the garden had to be less than 120 square metres. And so I've clearly split this up into two parts, A and B here. You could split this up in any other way, OK? This is just an idea. I'm sure some of you could just draw a dotted line round here and work out the area of the outer rectangle and subtract the inner rectangle. So leave it up to you. This is just one suggestion. So drawing a dotted line down here then means that the area is going to be the area of A plus the area of B. And as you can see, the area of A then is 4x times all of 2x plus 1. And the area of B is going to be 2x times all of 4x plus 2. So just expand this and you end up with 16x squared plus 8x. We know that area has to be less than 120, so I've just written that as being less than 120. Subtract 120 from both sides and pull out 8 as a common factor. Or you could divide through by 8, it doesn't matter at that point. But the point behind this is that it's this quadratic factor here which needs to be factorised. And then you've got to go on and find the critical values. Remember, that's where 2x minus 5 would equal 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. And it would equal 0 when x is 5 over 2, or minus 3. Then, draw a graph, mark on the critical values, minus 3 and 5 upon 2, and you can see that I've drawn the graph of 2x minus 5 times x plus 3. The 8, would, all that would do, it would still go through the same points. It would just be basically a steeper graph. But we're not after that here. All we want to know is where y is less than 0, because we want this value here to be less than 0. So that's going to be where it's underneath the x-axis. And that occurs for values of x between minus 3 and 5 upon 2, as I've got here. But the point is x represents a length and x has to be positive if this length for instance is to stay positive so x has got to be greater than zero so x must lie between naught and five over two all right